what is the master key and the seven feelings? Yes, great question. Okay, so um, most guitar players are confused when it comes to uh, the term key. We all we all hear that, right? Uh, yeah, put this one in A, John, or you know, let's play in the key of B, or put, put this song in the key of C, or something like that. And we all hear that phrase, the key. key. Uh, whenever it comes to music in general, especially if you're starting to learn songs and things like that. But most people really don't know what a key is. Now, I'm gonna the the answer to your question. You asked me what is a master key and what is the seven feelings. So I'm gonna answer that. But I want to give you a little bit of a context of what an actual key is. Uh, to start with, just so you have a little bit of an idea, but just remember that the topic of this question is not going super deep into what is a key. So a, a key is actually a container. So you ever seen a bag of marbles? A bag of marble, a bag is, is a container. You put something in the container. So the bag contains the marbles. In Western music, which is all the music that we listen to, in the, the keys, there are a number of different keys. It doesn't matter how many there are but there are a number of different keys and a key is a container that contains a certain number of notes, okay? What do I mean by that? In Western music, there are seven notes in every key. So if a key is like a marble bag, it's like the container, that means there are seven marbles inside that bag, okay? So there are seven notes inside that bag. Now here's, that's the simple part. That's what a key basically is. The confusing part for everybody that gets super confused and the reason why nobody really has a grasp on what this is, or, or very few people do, is that in actual music, especially if you play the guitar, in every key, the seven notes inside that marble bag or the seven marbles inside the bag are different notes. There are seven of them, but they are different. For example, I'm going to make something up here, but I just want you to follow my, um, follow my, my thought process. If I play a major scale, starting here on the G note. There's seven notes. I know I played eight notes, but the first and the eighth note were was, it's the same note. So there's seven different notes. And if I have to stop and think about what are the names of these notes? First one is G, second one is A, third one is B, then we have C, then we have D, then we have E, and then we have F sharp, which is gonna confuse a lot of people. And then we have G again. Now, if you're starting to get confused right now, good, that's why everybody gets confused because you have to think about what are the names of all these notes. Now, the really confusing part is this, and I'm, I'm confusing you on purpose right now. I'm gonna make this a lot simpler in just a second. The confusing thing is if I take this a same major scale and I move it up here, you hear the same sounds it's just that the pitch is a little bit higher. So listen to the feeling of this. And now this. I can do it higher. That all feels the same. The only difference is the pitch is higher. That's it. So in normal keys, the way everybody thinks about normal keys, I have these, a key is a container that contains notes. In this case, it contains seven notes. So the problem is I have these names of these notes. So G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and then finally G. But if I move and I play in a different key, that's a different container and it contains a whole new set of seven notes. So now we have A, B, C sharp, D, it, it gets super confusing. And there's 12 different keys. There's 12 different marble bags and they all have 12 different uh, notes in them. So who can just sit around on the guitar and think about all the different notes and all the different keys as they're playing? People can do it. You can you can work out on paper what are, what are all the names of the notes and all that, but nobody thinks about that when they're actually playing. They just don't think, they just play and they play by feel. So what most people never discover, and this is, uh, I would say, aimed at guitar players who are like at that late beginner stage to maybe early intermediate stage. Right at, you know, after you've, learn a few chords, it doesn't matter if you're good at them or not, after you've learned a few chords, maybe a few bits and pieces of songs, maybe a scale or two, or maybe you've even gone out there on YouTube and you know tried for years and you've learned all the five positions of the pentatonic scale and all the stuff that they recommend out there, like the cage system and all that kind of stuff. 
The reason why most people, most guitar players can never put it all together is because they never see or nobody ever tells them that there's a master key. What I mean by a master key is not a key like uh, the key of G or the key of A or the key of B. It doesn't have letters. It has numbers. And each one of those numbers has feelings. So we said a key was a container, right? So the master key is a key that apply that you can apply kind of like a skeleton key for a door will open any door. It's a skeleton key for music that you learn this one key with the seven feelings and you can apply that to unlock any key on the guitar neck. You can play in any key and you don't have to know what the names of the notes are. So for example, instead of um, playing and thinking about the names of the notes in a key, which already sounds confusing, like G, A, B, whatever. All I think about is numbers. So now I'm gonna play the a major scale. I just happen to be starting on G, so it's gonna be a G major scale, but listen to the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight, which is number one again. Those are the same notes. So if I move that around the fretboard, here's the thing, I still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I can play it here. So check this out. No matter where I move around on the fretboard, if I play these same seven notes, in reality, I'm moving around and the notes that I'm playing all have different names. But if we forget about the names, because we don't need to think about it, when we play and we just focus on the sound or the feeling of each one of the numbers, the feeling of the numbers in any key is exactly the same. Watch this. If I play notes one and five, here's one, two, three, four, five. Have you ever heard the sound that sounds like this? Kind of like a trumpet, like in a in a castle when a king when the king is going up to the castle or they're about to invade. Well, guess what? If I move this to a different key or a different place, I can play the same note relationships. One, two, three, four, five. I'm playing one and five. One, five. Guess what? The feeling is the same. It's just at a higher pitch. Then I move it down here. Same thing. Same exact feeling. So the point is, underneath all of the music theory and the labeling system and the names of the notes and all the confusing stuff around musical keys, there's a what we call a master key, which just happens to have seven numbers instead of all the different names of the notes. And those seven numbers all have seven different feelings, one feeling per number. And every time you play one of those numbers anywhere on the guitar neck, it feels exactly the same. That's how I was able to play one five. Ba -ba -ba -ba. And that's how I can sing it too. One, 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 five. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I can play it up here. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Or up here. Ba -ba -ba -ba. It doesn't matter. It all feels the same. The only difference is the pitch. And this is exactly how the pros make it look so easy because they're just listening to the feeling that they want to play. And they're just playing the feeling that they want to hear anywhere on the guitar neck. Those same seven feelings repeat all across the guitar neck. And that's all they're doing. And literally anybody, is, it literally is that simple and anybody can do it. And you, that's how you can play without thinking. That's how you can play with, by feel. And that's how it doesn't even matter if you know what the names of the notes are or not. You can just still play across the guitar neck just by listening to the number that you want to feel. Hey, thanks so much for watching that video. That was just a short clip of one of our longer Q&A videos. If you're interested in watching some more of those videos, then I recommend you hit the subscribe button over here. It's really awesome. Also, we got more videos over here, so check some out if you're interested in learning more about breakthrough guitar or advancing your guitar skills. Peace.